Hi and welcome to Sounds Heavenly. Today we're going to be taking a look at what is probably Bang & Olufsen's silliest ever product. But actually, one of their best. Come and join me. Now if you don't know about this channel, my name's Steve, I run a company called Sounds Heavenly and we make all the cabling for Bang & Olufsen music systems and TVs. That's my day job. The rest of the time I'm making videos like this, so please, if you want to know more, if you're a B&O enthusiast or collector, click on the subscribe button. We've got lots more videos still to come in the near future. So on to B.O. time. A magic flute, a remote control, an alarm clock, and although it wasn't really advertised as one at the time, a light switch as well. Let me explain. Launched back in 2009, BO Time was a bit of an oddity. For me, it was the first brand new Bang & Olufsen product I ever bought, and I haven't regretted it one bit. It's at one end of the scale. If you don't have B&O in your home, it's utterly pointless. It's probably the world's most expensive alarm clock combined with the world's least convenient remote control. However, if like me, your home is, as my wife calls it, the B&O Museum, then this is actually quite special because this lovely magic flute with a trumpet stop at the end is a beautiful way to let your B&O systems become part of your home environment. So let me explain a little bit about what it can do. This is, um, at its simplest, an alarm clock with a gentle, soothing chime, but then the ability to activate any Bang & Olufsen product as part of your alarm. So for example, you could switch on a CD. Um, I use it to play uh, the Biogram record player that's in my lounge up to the speakers in the bedroom instead of playing an, a conventional alarm. It could also um, turn on the TV, a DVD or Blu-ray disc, satellite channel, whatever you choose. And then at the end of the night, you can set a timer to allow it to play music for you and switch off after a preset amount of time so you don't have to worry about waking yourself up to turn the music off. Things get more interesting as you start to use B&O a little bit more with this. If I move over to the, uh, the close-up camera, hopefully you notice there that as I place this down on the table, the display suddenly flicked round to show the, uh, the numbers the correct way up. So B of Time has a little sensor, three displays, and then shown on the right here, a control section. As soon as you move BO Time, the three displays light up, which is really nice and convenient. At night, you can gently tap one side of the remote and the uh, time is visible. The trumpet stop on the end, when that's out in this position, the alarm is on. And you should see from the display, if I press that in, then the alarm will go to off on the right hand display. And you can also cancel an alarm with a gentle push in and let it release. So a standard, there we have it, nothing too special yet. A pure clock and alarm clock. By pressing the function keys either side of the, uh, the main button, you'll see that the volume down and volume up will show. So you've then immediately got control of the, uh, the last B&O product that you used within the room. So in this case, N-Radio or on my old B&O system that actually activates the Biogram turntable. And then you can actually start that source and change tracks with the up and down buttons. So nice and simple. Pressing the center button lets you easily adjust the alarm time. Going down lets you have a little bit more control of the remote so we can scroll through the last sources that we used here and press the center button to switch them on 
or scroll to the left again, press the centre button to turn them off. And then we have the light facility. So if you have either an old B&O LC1 or LC2 light controller, Lutron Rainier B&O dimmers, Uno Dim, Boss Dim, or um, Philips Rayco B&O compatible lighting, any of those, um, as well as the Lutron Graphic Eye and QS systems can be controlled by this. So you can manually turn on your lights to a, a level that you choose or turn them off. So no, again, nothing too special until we come to what b &O don't tell you about in their instruction manual, and that is the secret menu in BO Time. Now, this really intrigued me when I first got BO Time. This was, to be honest, the reason I bought it. And I've actually made a page on my website explaining this in detail. So I'll give you the link in the video description. And uh, this is what really wakes up BO Time and makes it special. Now, I'll talk you through very quickly the process for starting up the, the secret menu. And once it's been activated on your BO Time, it's always there. It stays there after you change the batteries, it won't disappear. And what this gives you is a number of useful extra functions, including compatibility with Masterlink Gateway, which I don't use myself, um, the ability to switch on your light along with the alarm clock, and a sunrise facility. And what this does is it gradually increases the light level with when the uh, alarm starts over a period of two or three minutes to simulate the sun slowly coming up and that is wonderful. Once you're used to it you just won't want to live without it. So I'll show you briefly how to activate that but by all means please use the link in the description to go to my website to see in a bit more detail. So basically you would hold down the central control button for at least 10 seconds. The source off and lights off commands will be sent. So anything that, any music that's playing or any lights that are on in the room will turn off. So ignore this and keep holding down the button. Whilst still holding down the button, press the alarm button at the end of the remote in and out at least four times. Now release the central button. So now, when you scroll through the menu, you'll have an extra option. So as well as the alarm source, we now have alarm light. And this allows the remote control to automatically turn on the light to a preset level when your alarm goes off. And by moving across to the far side, you'll see there's an option marked sunrise. And here we can have with sunrise off, the lights will immediately go straight to the preset level with either a slow, medium or fast option. The lights will gradually rise to your preset level. And you can choose in the central section from nine different preset levels. And also you can choose if you have, for example, Lutron uh, Graphic Eye, then you can choose coloured scenes for your lighting and preset any of those. And as an added bonus, your um, BO time is now enabled to work with Masterlink Gateway if you have it. So if you enabled the alarm timeout or sleep timer timeout options to turn off the um, either the alarm or the, the music after a period of time, then BO time will switch off the lights automatically as well when it switches off the source. So that can be really nice to use at the end of the day. So we've got basically a stylish little alarm clock and uh, it's quite interesting to see actually if I hold up. It comes with um, a little black magnetic stand. So that can be used to mount the unit onto the wall or and if you have a uh, either a metal nightstand or a, a metal cased lamp on the nightstand as I do, then this magnetic unit is magnetic on both sides, so it will firmly hold the it, the base itself onto the metal object, and then 
with quite a surprising amount of force, it will hold the PO time to itself. And that makes for really quite a nice, convenient way of keeping the unit safe. In case you wondered, the remote control uh, senders for the unit are actually in the end of this uh, final display. And uh, they, that means whilst it will fire a, a very powerful infrared signal in almost any direction in the room, you get best results if you are firing in the direction here towards the product. The um, one little thing that you, you may not always notice, if we pop this in front of the, uh, the close-up camera, we have a little clip-off cover, again held magnetically on the end of the stand, and that has two small prongs in the end. Now it's important not to lose this cover because this undoes the battery compartment at the end of the unit where there are two small holes and the uh, the two prongs when you don't have a camera in the way will fit perfectly and allow you to unscrew the batteries and tighten them up again. No need to over tighten them and the batteries last I would guess from experience around about a year. So since the uh, launch in 2009 when I was probably one of the first people to uh, to get this after I pre-ordered it. Um, this has been far and away my favourite Bang & Olufsen product. I use it daily. On the rare occasions that um, I've not been able to use it or I've been, been away, um, I actually miss this. And um, I never thought I'd say that. Um, this wakes you up in such a nice, gentle fashion that no other conventional alarm clock ever measures up after you've used BO time. It really is quite special. The price in 2009 is not something I'm going to mention as part of this review, just in case my good lady wife chooses to watch the video. What I will say, however, is the beoworld.org website has a lot of information about BO time at its launch, and I would highly recommend going to the website to have a look and find out all about it. If you like this video, please take a moment to click the subscribe button and please let me know what you think in the comments about BO time. Is it really the silliest thing that BO ever did? Is it purely the world's most expensive and pointless alarm clock? Or do you, like me, um, actually really quite admire BO's bravery in making something simple yet? utterly special. Please let me know what you think.